Hi right, guys, welcome back. Uh, Reese here, and I'm continuing our, our coverage here at Days and Nights. And I'm with my good friend, Tom Billiter. And uh, Tom, where are you from? I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky. So, uh, the goal uh, with this channel is to uh, help other uh, people like Tom uh, find people interested near him to doing harness fetching. So uh, Tom has been doing it for, let's see, for a while. Yeah, probably all together, uh, uh, almost almost 20 years, but uh, a little more seriously in the last uh, uh, seven or eight. Yeah, seven or eight years. So uh, Tom's got a lot of really good experience. He, uh, he, he really understands the material culture. Uh, Tom's got some of the best uh, 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 sources I've seen online. So he's a guy I talk to you uh, with uh, in regards to armor and especially mail. So he makes custom mail. So, uh, so Tom, uh, tell us about your kid a little bit. So I've got um, a brigandine, which is a series of plates uh, attached to a fabric shell. The plates overlap, uh, they're riveted to the, to the fabric, um, and allow some flexibility and movement. These particular plates are, are heat treated steel that have been uh, coated in tin, so they were dipped in a molten tin to rust proof them. You can imagine that if they didn't have the tin, that rust would be an issue. Yeah, I mean, this would be a huge pain. <laughs> so, um, it is, uh, this particular pattern of, of the plates and rivets is based on a, uh, about a 1475 uh, brigandine. Um, my arm harness is uh, a German arm harness. It's, it's uh, based on about 1480, so a little bit slightly later. Um, and these are floating, so yeah. these have no articulation, same as me. So uh, whenever we get into bonds or wrestling, uh, that could potentially be an issue with uh, blowing at the elbow. But we try to uh, be safe about it and, and stop the fight when it, before it gets to that point. But just so you guys are aware, that all want German Gothic. That's a that's a thing you want to you want to take take into consideration. So uh, so what else you got? Um, We've got, uh, these, we've got Besigues here, yeah. So, uh, Besigues, uh, really, we're not really sure what they're for. Mm -hmm. um, some people um, like to think that they're for helping protect the armpit, and they, they can do that. Um, we have some images that show them rigidly mounted up higher, nowhere near the armpit, mm -hmm. and uh, so some people think that, that that's better for deflecting a lance. Mm -hmm. um, really, so, we're not sure. Mine um, currently are hanging from a piece of leather, and they do help protect my armpit when we're when we're fighting. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep them that way. I'm kind of doing some research to to see if uh, if I want to move them up onto the to the shoulder. But, uh, Constant uh, experimental, you know, stuff with our harnesses. So I found with mine, it's also for the armpit. And as you guys seen, I don't have mail at the moment. He's working on mine, but uh, this thing's this thing seems kick ass for. Preventing a shot in the armpit. So, um, yeah. So you got uh, what else you got here? Um, so it's worth mentioning that there's an overlap in the plates. Here. Yeah. So um, you know this <laughs> opens in the front just like a, a coat or a jacket, um, but you you can see that there's a little bit of overlap of the plates when it's closed. So uh, a, a straight on thrust is not going to just slide through. And when everything's buckled tight, it's hard to um, even snake something through from the side. Yeah. So, uh, and, you, and you were mentioning earlier uh, that you got to be careful with most reproductions because they won't they won't fill a gap. Right, right. So a lot of reproductions, even ones that are, are shaped nicely and uh, look very good, they don't make that overlap. So if you're out there looking to get a reproduction made, um, anybody who can make a brigandine and do a good job, that's a it's an easy thing for them to fix. So just make sure uh, you tell them to make sure that there's an overlap there. Yeah, yeah. Make sure, that, especially when you're uh, you're thrusting in, because that's what we're doing. You know, majority of what we're doing with spears, even Cuban axe and half sword, thrusting in. So last thing you want is that hitting your solar plex, and then you know you're done for. So awesome. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Um, hopefully, we'll get some uh, good footage of uh, him and I. I think we're up for spears, right? All right. Yeah. So spear combat. So what are they next?
Came up underneath the Aventel. Oh, good. <laughs> Got to the point. Yeah. Two points. Final point, gentlemen. Continue. Got me. Wrist. He got you. He got you. Right. Two and one. 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 Two and one.